Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Clayton Carpenter versus Lucas Rocha. Clayton Carpenter, 7-0, minus 175 favorite, 28 years old, 5'6", with a 66-inch reach, trains at the MMA lab, fighting Lucas Rocha, like I said, 17-1, plus 145 underdog, 24 years old, 5'3", with a 64-inch reach, 3-inch in height for Clayton Carpenter with also a 2-inch reach advantage. The biggest difference for me in this matchup is how chaotic Lucas Rocha can be. Coming off of the Dave and Bittencourt knee, it was a pretty, pretty wild finish, to be honest. 11 months ago, he has 18 fights and he's only 24. Now, the competition that he's fought up until his last couple of fights isn't great. Now, Clayton Carpenter is kind of in the same boat because up until three fights ago, he didn't fight anybody over five fights. Um, he fought Edgar Chavez in the Contender Series, beat him, who we know how pretty good Edgar Chavez is. He's better than his record shows, at least. And then beat uh, jo uh, jo Jan Camilo Ronderas by rear naked choke a year and a half, a little over a year and a half ago. So we haven't seen him in a long time. Again, this one's hard because Lucas Rocha, he's a little chaotic. Um, he throws things at weird angles. Uh, Clayton Carpenter is more, a lot of pressure, you know, a little bit more well-rounded, a little bit more straightforward in what you're going to get. Not chaotic, not crazy, not sloppy, if that's a word. Not saying Lucas is sloppy, but it's not as uh, technical. It's a little all over the place. But that can also help you in sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's going to be against you, but... I like Clayton Carpenter in this one. I think he just is the more direct fighter. I just like him a little bit more in the technical aspects. I just think Lucas Rocha is going to put himself in bad positions. And Clayton Carpenter is going to get a takedown. Look for, look for some uh, submissions. I'm not really sold if this fight's going to be finished. I think if Lucas Rocha wins, it'll be by finish. You know, he has... 14 finishes, 10 of them by KO. He has four, four submission wins, but, you know, they're throughout the fight. So, like I said, one and all the contender series was supposed to fight Joshua Van, supposed to fight Jose, uh, Jose Johnson. Now he's fighting Clayton Carpenter, who isn't as tough, as, clearly, as uh, Joshua Van would have been. That would have been a really tough matchup. But also, I think, would have give Van a lot of issues. We've seen what Charles Johnson was able to do. Somewhere around the same thing where, um, same kind of style. It's kind of awkward, weird. I don't know if he would have had the same, uh, obviously, same, uh, just same output or same, uh, outcome as jo uh, Charles Johnson, but, you know, same type of thing. He was finished back in 2019 by Alan Gabriel. He was, uh, KO'd in round number one. The guy was 11 and four. Again, up until, you know, he was 10-0. and 0. He didn't find anybody really that good. I guess 8-4 and 4 is okay, obviously. He was 8-0. and 0. So, sure, there's that. But, again, I just like Clayton Carpenter. I think he's a little bit more well-rounded. Like I said, 7-0. and 0. He has five finishes, two decision wins. You know, we've seen, you know, one fight in the UFC already. But, I don't know. I, I really, really like what I see from Clayton Carpenter. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. See you at the next one. Peace.